Here she is, the 2016 model Bentley Continental GT, given to me by the dealership to test drive uh, for the weekend. She's been a delightful drive. It is such a work of art, this car. Um, I even love the color. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really one for, for sort of. Well, having said that, I do have a yellow turbo, but um, on these cars, I prefer darker, more subtle colors. But I, I really, really, really love this color. The attention to detail in the car is just amazing. The, the, this is a real, real work of art. She drives beautifully. One of the smoothest drives you can imagine. It's like driving a 7 Series BM. The only, the only comparison that I, uh, I mean, the only negative point that I can give it is that it's, she's just really heavy and quite stubborn to turn. I mean, my, my turbo does a U-turn like a London black cab would, you know, on, as they say in England, on a sixpence. But um, this car <laughs> had to make that same turn. You got to reverse a few times and uh, try to adjust. Um, she's a bit stubborn on the turns, but otherwise. Um, Overall, highway cruising, you really, really can't beat it. It's quite quiet, not that loud, but you have that V8 um, rumble in the background when you're driving. Um, that reminds you, uh, sort of reminds me of, a, of an F10 M5, that, that, that rumble sound, um, once you give it some juice. Now, this is the 4-liter V8 twin-turbo model producing around 507 horsepower. Um, the engine was co-built with Audi, so you know it's got, it's reliable. Um, it has a new technology, whereas, whereby it, it shuts off half the cylinders when not in use because, uh, for, for efficiency purposes, and it's quite useful. You don't really notice it when you're driving. If you look, she's quite a big car. I mean, lined up beside the Q5 here. The front, the fronts are lined up, and if you look at the sides here, she's lo a bit longer. She's a heavy girl at uh, 2.3 tons, 2,300 kilos, and uh, that's just 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 north of 5,000 pounds. So I mean, it's quite a heavy car, and so it needs good power, so it'll haul it. <coughs> Here's the interior. Quite a nice interior. I mean, well, well specked out. Um, the leather is really upmarket. You know, you have buttons here to open the fuel tank and the the trunk when you're in the car. Um, you have the PDC, the the sensors. You have this car has a reverse camera. It doesn't have 360 camera, but it has a reverse camera and it has all round sensors, so that's useful. Traction control, we don't want to play with that because it's not our car. Um, this is the multifunction steering wheel. Air conditioning, the air conditioning in this car is fantastic. I mean, right now it's just around 40 degrees Celsius outside. It's nearing summer and the AC is wow really impressive. The sound system in this car is phenomenal. I don't know what the speakers are, but uh, I mean, my, my turbo has the, the Burmeister state system, which is excellent. Um, but these are not too far off, I'll tell you that. We have seat heaters, coolers, raising and lowering suspension. This is for the rear wing to raise it, lower its uh, suspension here. Uh, sport for activate sports suspension. Um, you have your cup holders, here you have your electricity plug, rear seats are very useful, um, you can fit two adults in there comfortably, not three but two. Um, glove compartment, you got your iPod, you got your 6 CD changer, beautiful, beautiful dark wood finish. Um, let me start her up. Oh. Is that beautiful V8 rumble? I mean, it's quite quite low low key. You can't really. It doesn't. Uh, it's not intrusive, but. So these are the gauges. Um, you have the signature Breitling clock. You get on all pedals. 
air conditioning, switch it off, push it in, switch it on, pull it out. You want to go into drive, hold the B down, go down to drive. You want to go into sport mode, one more. Even the exhaust changes tone, um, opens up the flaps in the exhaust and it gets a bit of a deeper tone. You want to go into the Tiptronic, you know, manual changing, you go this way. But I honestly, I wouldn't even bother in this car. I just, I just put it in automatic and go. Uh, let me take you on a tour of the trunk. Just push the B in to open the trunk. You can see it's quite a deep trunk. Fits pretty much everything in there. It's like you're in a sedan, really. There's the trunk. Look at the car from behind. She's really, really a beauty. Really a work of art. Here's the, the rear wing that comes up when you, when you activate it. Now, let's take a look at the engine. This car doesn't have a sunroof. So I, I, I think if I would if I were to order one, I would order a sunroof with it. Here she is. This is the heart. Four liter twin turbo V8. As mentioned, she's got around 500, 507 horsepower. Um, but you really feel it despite the weight. I mean, the power delivery um, is, 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 is is really uh, well thought out. Um, uh, that's her. This also this and this car also comes in a in a W12 twin turbo which produces uh, north of 600 horsepower. You can only imagine what that feels like in terms of power. You see, you have your usual Bentley signature accents around the car. As mentioned, she is a big girl. Um, uh, one of the neat features here is like if you recall in the old. The old Mercedes cars, and maybe some of the new ones, I don't know. When you close the door, the seat belt comes out. So you get ready for your journey. You open the door, it pops back in, out of your way. Here you have the Bentley logo at the entrance here of the car. You have um, your memory seating, three, three modes, three memory modes. Um, you have the Bentley logo on the seat, which is quite nice. And that's pretty much it. Um, I think that, uh, honestly, for, uh, for, for somebody looking for a, a GT Cruiser, this is something else. This is really, really a different, different ball game. And I, I, I definitely suggest um, if people can get, get this car out for a test drive, they will truly understand what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure, of course, I've only had the car for the weekend, so reliability and these things I'm not sure about, but I, I assume as the engine is built with Audi and uh, the car has it, basically the, the, the brand has a track record of, of quite decent uh, modern cars, quite popular, I assume that 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 uh, that that's not an issue. Um, but this car really is something else, and I really look forward to driving the Flying Spur and the Mulsanne. They're going to be sending me both, hopefully, over the coming few weeks. And and when they do, and if they do, uh, I will review and uh, post. But until then, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, the short video, and um, I wish you all uh, a pleasant uh, weekend ahead.